welcome back to the dentodontics here your host and host dr mohit is on a, with another descriptive video the with explaining the most awaited dental vacancy of madhya pradesh mppsc of 300 and and 85 post so this is the most awaited 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 dental vacancy here it is and here we are with a very descriptive video in this video because we have received 2 to 5000 queries since yesterday so in this video we will be explaining the pattern of exam application form how to fill eligibility criteria what will be the pattern of the questions uh, syllabus syllabus of this of the mppsc which is not given but still we will be uh, telling you the syllabus and the most important is the distribution of seats where the things are been very much confusing we will be uh, uh, explaining everything so without wasting time we will start this video but before starting the video do like and subscribe and follow us on youtube and instagram that is the dentodontics page so let's start the video see mppsc the total the total vacancy is 385 has come which is being uh, taken by the by the madhya pradesh public service commission commission this exam and the form filling will start from 21st of feb 12 pm and it will be till filled till 20th of march 12 pm so one month of form filling will be there and all the form will be filled through online mode and no offline mode will be accepted and you have to fill the form on www.mppsc.mp.government.in the website has been given now the eligibility criteria and the educational qualification for mppsc this year that applicant has to pass the bds uh, degree from an uh, from a college then he should have a permanent registration with the madhya pradesh state dental council is mandatory and mp registration is very mandatory now with this i need to explain one thing that if you don't have any mp uh, mp registration right now so you can transfer your state registration and uh, that we have uh, that we can explain if any confusion is there you can dm us on our whatsapp to to ask how to do that but you can do because still still there is a one month of uh, time is left to start filling the form so you can still uh, still uh, transfer your uh, your state registration to madhya pradesh so it makes other other state people are also eligible to fill this form okay this is very important question that has been answered now one very important thing is employment registration this is for the service candidates only for service candidates for contractual post who have 50% reservation right now in this uh, mppsc 50% reservation has been given to the contractual post or contractual uh, service candidate students now candidates from other state are exempted from uh, employment registration in madhya pradesh so you don't have to do the employment registration if you are from other state and candidates from madhya pradesh must complete their employment registration by the time of the interview so your employment registration if you are a service candidate you have to finish by the time of the interview the come has come okay this is the most important detail about the employment registration and it is for the service candidates okay now we have to see the age limit minimum age limit for filling of this form is 21 and maximum is 40 years now contractual workers can claim age relaxation equivalent to their years of service not exceeding 55 so how see one more thing is there that the service people who are doing they can claim their their age for filling of the form to how many years they have have worked so if they have worked for 5 years you can add 5 more years into it okay like this now salary what you get in mppsc see in this the grade pay of 15600 to 39100 plus 5400 is the grade pay so nearly you get 40 to 50 50k in the probation period in the start of the of the salary the starting and you it increases by the how many years you do you do the service okay now very important question is that now the seat distribution which is very confusing right now in this whole mppsc form okay so we will take it one by one see vacancy and seat distribution according to reservation see total post is 385 so unreserved they have given 99 scheduled caste they have given 58 scheduled tribe they have given 50 98 and obc they have given 92 economically ews they have given 38 now one thing people are asking that sir 99 that has been given to ur then why scheduled tribe is 98 why it is equal to ur it has has got less than 50% reservation then see this is increased because some vacancies from the past 2022 to 2022 has been carried forward this year that was not filled at that time so so SC Supreme Court has passed a passed a law that if the category candidates are not filled in that uh, year of vacancy, if the ca uh, category candidates are not found, so the seat conversion of the category category candidate will not happen. Okay, it will be carried forward in the next time once the vacancy again comes. So that's why here the scheduled tribe is 98 and unreserved is 99. Okay, got it? Okay. Now reservation for now this was the total reservation and the seat distribution. Now what they have distributed in sections. Okay, now we will see. Now in the total seat distribution, fifty percent of the seats are being given to the service candidates. Okay, fifty percent of the seats who with more than five years of of contractual experience that they have. Okay, so UR has got fifty, SC has got twenty nine, ST has got forty nine, OBC forty six, and EWS nineteen. So 
In total 385 seats, 50% of the seats are being reserved for the service candidates who have done the work for five years, more than five years. Now, Another reservation that has been given in this is the re reservation for women. Women means Madhya Pradesh native women. That has given as 35, 35 for UR, the seats are being reserved, SC 20, ST 34, OBC 32, EWS 13. Means the, the seats of, no, uh, of women category in different, uh, different categories are being reserved. That is being given for the women reservation. Okay, now Total reservation for PWD for physically handicapped uh, students, total seats are reserved at 23 for it and they are being divided into four categories. Six, uh, locomotory disability, they have given six seats, visual impairment five, hearing impairment six and multiple disabilities six. So this is the uh, like seat, but seat distribution for the PWD. You can take the screenshot of it. Now, very important here is that two type of reservation is being is being uh, distributed over the seats. 87% approved approved seats and 13% not approved seats. 87% seats which are approved will are distributed and 13% that are still still not distributed still have been written but not not uh, included because 13% are still waiting for the court orders due to some reasons they are not included. Once the court order comes, they will be included till the interview. Okay, so this is very important. Now, next is. Reservation approved and non-approved. Now, very note, very important point to be noted that if SCST reservation candidates not found, not found uh, there, vacancy will carry forward in the next year. That I have been explained uh, before hand in the video only that if the SCST reservation candidates not found there, vacancy will carry forward in the next year. But very important to note that reservation given to the in in service, any service candidates, 50%, and the women women uh, reservation. That is, if the candidates, if the number of candidates are not found, the total number of seats that are being given. That will not be carried forward in the next vacancy. That will be converted into UR and, and other category according to the seat conversion. Okay? So that you got it. So, so the carry forward will be the category seats only, not the in-service seats and the women's seats. So this is the total description of the seat selection and the seat distribution, which was very much confusing right now. Okay? So I have just explained it very cleanly, this thing. Okay? Okay. Now next we are moving towards the date that see uh, uh, start of the date of the exam is uh, form filling is 21st February and the last date of filling of form is 20th uh, 20th uh, March and online uh, like uh, like there will be an edit window at 26 February okay so these are the important details that you have to check and mentioned now we will start with another important thing that filling of yeah, now application process, how the application process will be. Now, see, application must be submitted online and we have said like the website, through the website. Application fee can be paid via debit card, credit card and internet banking. That is very important to note. Now, application fees, how much is the application? 250 is the application fees for, for SCST and OBC non layer and PWD domiciled in, in Madhya Pradesh and 500 application fee for general and other state candidates. Okay, 500 for other state candidates and for the general category. A correction window. See, a correction window will be available from 26th February to 22nd March, during which if you do a correction, per correction it will cost 50 rupees. Okay, that is very important. Now, the selection process, how the selection process will happen. See, the recruitment involves the following stage. First is the written exam, that is the OMR based exam that you know, and the centers will be in Bhopal, Jabalpur, Gwalior and Indore. In MP only, the first, uh, in these uh, cities only the centers will be. Now, provisional answer key will be published online, when the, an once the answer key will be also published with a fee of 100 per, per objection. If you have got any objection, you can pay 100 rupee once the answer key is out and then it can be recorrected or rechecked. Okay. Second is first after the written, then second stage is interview. Shortlisted, can, uh, shortlisted candidate based uh, written scores will be called for an interview. Now final selection will be on the basis of uh, weightage. 87% weightage has been given to the written exam and 13% to the weightage of interview. Very important. Now see probation period is there. Once you are selected, you are being uh, given uh, selected candidates appointed on a probation period of two years. That is very important to note. Okay. Now documents required for interview. High school certificate, mark sheet, certificate for all educational, uh, for filling of the form also this is required, high school certificate, mark sheet, for permanent registration with MP state dental council as so stelled, for valid ID proof, Aadhaar and voter ID, then caste certificate, disability if you have, certificate, no objection, certificate for government employees, the seventh one is for the in-service candidate. So these are the uh, documents required for form filling and for the interview as well. See, important instruction to follow. Candidate must ensure that they fulfill all eligibility criteria before applying. Application with incomplete or incorrect detail will be rejected. Admit card exam related updates you can check on MP website and also you can follow us. Queries can be can be called via this and MP you can you can mail it if any query is there. Very important. 
Now, uh, recruitment rules for contractual workers. See, for the 50% in-service candidates, some recruitment rules are there. Must have completed five years, five years of continuous contractual service. The period of service which includes any break in employment will exclude any break. If there is a breakage in their service, then there will be the, the, the period of service will be excluded. So it should be a continuous five years. No benefit from prior contractual service will be given after regular appointment. Prior no benefit will be given, regular appointment will be there. A transparent and competitive recruitment process will be followed by for reserve path. Now, a very important question that in this notification there is not written anything about exam pattern. Secondly, what is the syllabus? So, we are uh, we are discussing uh, exam pattern and the syllabus of 2022 uh, MPPSE which has happened two years back. So, we are discussing that so that you can get an idea how this MPPSE works. This is just of 2022 description. If the same happens in 2024, they, uh, they will notify with another notification. So, what was the exam pattern in 2022? We'll see. See, paper pattern, the written exam consists of two sections, section A and section B. How the pattern of the exam? See, total number of questions are 150 for the written exam. Each carry three marks. Okay, the negative marking will be one, means one by third is the negative penalty. So, uh, so section details, section one contains 50 questions, section A, 50 questions from general knowledge and computer science. That was in 2022. Section A, two sections were there. Or section A will have general knowledge and computer science. Section B was having 100 questions, which is from dental. And means total written exam was of 150 questions, in which section A and section B was being there. Section A had GK and computer science, and section B had 100 questions of dental. Okay? Now, very important, written exam has got 150 questions, means three marks. Any total marks are 450. Interview has got 50 marks. So the merit will be prepared of 500 marks and 450 marks from the written and 50 from the interview. Note, 2024 pattern still not out expected like 2022. This is what I told. Now, people are asking for the syllabus. Syllabus. So syllabus we are again giving of 2022. You can take a screenshot of it or if you want the PDF, you can WhatsApp us. We will send this PDF of this of this documents again. See, this is the syllabus of, of general anatomy. Okay, then prosto, perio, then conservative, then oral, maxillofacial, then ortho, then oral medicine, then pediatrics, oral pathology, public health dentistry. Okay, this was the total for this MPPSC information. Now, we want to say that we conducted a test series of VMC uh, previously, where 17 candidates were selected out of 20. So we almost, uh, like uh, our, our candidates got selected. Okay, the, here you can see, see the testimonials of the of the students who took that uh, series from us that uh, all the uh, timely updates uh, best app and timely updates everything was been here so you can check our mentorship was good and mentorship was timely updates uh, explanation part of every questions were there so you can check the testimonial also so now what we are trying to say that we are launching an mp mppsc test series which has got 20 tests this test series, which is very important right now, the, the dates are very close for form filling. So we are uh, we are introducing MPPSC test series, which is very important. This will help you to excel in your exam. We have you have seen our record, past record of the VMC and other Rajasthan PSC also. This test, but importance of this test series is that this test series has been prepared by the students that are selected in MPPSC in the previous exams. So all the questions are being made by them. Okay, by curated by them. So this is a test series which we will be starting from 26. So please, you can WhatsApp us to enroll. Now, what you will get in these test series? See, 20 tests will be there. Okay, according to the new MPPSC dental MO exam pattern, all the GK and computer science notes will be there, which is very important, which carry 50 marks as according to the 2022. You will have live test, national uh, ranks, all other state PYQs uh, you will also get. And most important, that already selected MOs have made this test series of the previous years. And we will have a webinars also upcoming for them, with them. So don't worry. So if you want to enroll, you can just WhatsApp MPPSC. You can just WhatsApp MP over this number and we can reach out to you. Okay, just WhatsApp. So MPPSC 385 post is of dental surgeon, test series and for test series and preparation for registration and queries, just WhatsApp MP on this number. Okay, we will enroll you for our test series. And the test series price is very less. It's just 1500, only 1499. The most cheapest test series right now, which has got everything. So that it's a pocket friendly and it will help in your exams also. Okay, very important. Now, one more important thing is there that if you want all the dental updates, you can send hi, hi on this number again. If you want dental updates, all the dental updates. And if you want to uh, add up in our free WhatsApp, uh, uh, WhatsApp group of dental job and dental vacancy, you can WhatsApp hi on this number. We will add you for free. There is no price for that. But for test series, you need to just send MP to register. So this was all the important details about it. Thank you so much for listening this. Thank you.